Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Will Patterson. Today, I've got a really quick tutorial for anyone who may be new to vectorizing or creating logos. I'm going to be showing you how to use the Shape Builder tool inside of Vectinator. Vectinator is a free app that you can download onto your iPad, iPhone, or Mac. It's a vector artwork app, so you can create logos, posters, any icons that you want. And I'm going to show you a tool today that will change the way that you do this, and it will make your life a lot easier and allow you to get effects that you wouldn't normally be able to get by just pen tooling it in. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so right now I'm in Procreate and let's say I've drawn a logo and I want something like an S or even something like an N like this we want it to be perfect and what we could do is we could carry on drawing this and you know keep it nice and then vector out later or we can actually use the tool that I'm going to show you so we've got these sketches here we could go ahead and refine them and spend a long time you know tracing over them again like you'd normally do with a logo, let's choose this one, you know, let's go to the pencil tool, trace it over them like this, making sure it's all perfect all the way through, that these corners match a specific circle like this. And this is one way of doing it. If you're someone who loves to do hand lettering and logo design and you want to get that natural look, but what if you want to get a clean look? And that's when the Shape Builder tool comes into play. The Shape Builder tool allows us to change objects and to edit things easier. Let me give you an example of the Shape Builder tool. We'll draw a circle like so. Let's say we wanted to make a leaf. There's a multiple ways of doing it, but with the Shape Builder tool, we can draw a perfect circle, copy that perfect circle, and you see in between these two circles is another shape right here. Now, if we wanted to get that, all we need to do is highlight this and go down to this icon down here. This is the Shape Builder icon, and we've got a plus and a minus. The plus allows us to add shapes together so you now you see it's just one whole shape and the minus allows us to get rid of certain shapes that intersect so we can use shapes that are intersecting to create different shapes so i could create a leaf here by just getting rid of those two there's no pen tooling you didn't have to do much aside from create the shapes and the curves with a perfect circle to match and then get rid or add them in i've shown this being done on the twitter bird in older videos i've used this method on logos that we've worked with with clients so let me show you how it works. We're going to create the S and we're going to do this by using perfect shapes. I'm going to choose this rectangle to be the main shape for now. And I've got a stroke on with no fill. It's easier for us to see it that way. So let's say this is the main part of the S. It's this part of the S here. We're going to keep it nice and straight. So it's going to be kind of like this in the end. Well, how do we round these corners? There's a few ways. We're going to add some circles here. And we're going to make a circle like so to fit exactly on the edge. So you see if I get the direct selection tool, everything is aligned towards that square there. What I'm going to do is select this circle, hold the copy button here. I'm going to move this and it will copy it over to the end. Then I'm going to copy this down again. I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to copy this circle again. and I'm going to move it to exactly here because this is where we want the curve to be. I'm going to delete this circle because we don't need it. This is going to be the hinge joint. And to make this all circular here, all we need to do is add another circle. So I'm going to do that and then we can edit it. So to do that, I'm using the midpoints of the circle to be exact with the width of the rectangles. And you'll see, strangely enough, that the width inside of this circle here is actually the same width here. So we can carry on with this. Let's get rid of this for now. Bring this back down to somewhere here. I'm going to select this main part here and drag it to copy it. I'll just flip this around. And I'm just going to kind of repeat it. So this looks a bit strange now. It just looks like a bunch of shapes. It doesn't really make much sense. But I'm going to show you how the Shape Builder works in this case, and you'll be absolutely surprised. We're going to select all of this, drag it just to copy it so you can see the before and after. So I'm going to select the whole shape here. Then I'm going to go to my Shape Builder tool to the left, and we're going to drag with the plus. And what this will do is it will sort of merge the shapes that I'm dragging into all in one. So you see, this is one big shape now, but we've got these ones here. So it kind of looks a bit strange still. Well, if I go to the minus, we can actually minus these out too. So what we're left with is this, a perfectly geometrical logo. If I select this, uh, let's get rid of the stroke and add a fill. You'll see 
that this is perfectly geometrical and you didn't have to use the pen tool or any sort of gridding even though we technically were gridding. So the shape builder tool can be used effectively to create a really clean modern logo design, one that is really editable as well. You can actually move this around and make it a little bit nicer change the spacings here perfectly geometrical no pental required very consistent in negative and positive space all the way around and that is all done with the shape builder i hope you guys enjoyed that video if you did make sure to hit the notification bell down below so you don't miss out on another video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye